Hello again, good afternoon to you, welcome to business. A new oil jetty in Takrade is to become operational by the 1st of October 2019 as part of the Takrade Port Expansion Works. Chairman for IBEX Tech, the local company undertaking the project, lawyer Kwame Jan, tells Joy Business in an interview, the completed project, which is the largest in West Africa, will be ready to discharge 80,000 tons of petroleum products through existing pipelines in the port of Takrade. Ibistec has a concession area of 61 hectares. Okay. Now, the concession area of 61 hectares is no land. It's all water, sea. It's part of the Harbour Basin. Wow. We are reclaiming that whole 61 hectares, turning it into land, paving the surface. Wow. So it's, it's not like there so is some land. Yes, of we are the reclaiming land. land from the sea. That's going to be a lot and of work. 61 and hectares. Money. So I'm just trying to make it more, make it clearer. Yeah. And a, a hectare is two and a half acres. Acres, yes. So 61 hectares is two and a half acres times 61. Yes. And an, an acre is the, the, the inner perimeter of a football field. Yes. So you are talking about um, 61 times two and a half football fields. Yes. Within this concession area, it's an old jetty. This jetty is the facility where vessels which carry petroleum products and um, diesel and petrol and so on, beauty men, to Takrade. That's where the vessels dock and discharge their contents and the contents go through pipelines. But this old jetty is up to minus 8.4 meters of draft. So only vessels with carrying capacity of about 20,000 tons can go to Takradi. That's small. Yes. Now, and they built this thing close to 100 years ago. So you should understand. The existing jetty sits in our concession area. And that area is going to be affected by reclamation. Okay. So whilst we were looking for the funding to do the container and multi-purpose terminal, and before the commencement of dredging, we partnered with GPHA to build a brand new jetty for petroleum products in the port of Takrade. You should go and see what we have done. I see. This jetty is the biggest and the most modern oil jetty in the whole of West Africa. I see. And it is on a draft of minus 14 meters. Yeah. So what it means is vessels that are carrying probably up to 80,000 tons of petroleum products can dock in the new oil jetty in Takrade, which becomes partly operational by 1st of October this year. Eli Hini has assured that various stakeholders are in talks with government to review his presentation. He's therefore as part of government's efforts to raise domestic revenue to contain rising expenditure, the finance minister Ken Ofuriata increased communication tax to nine percent from six percent. However, some industry players have raised concern, saying this will be a burden on the ordinary Ghanaian. Head of mobile money service at MTN Ghana, Eli Hini, indicated that some engagements are currently underway with government to see how best it could be reviewed. The fact that the data speeds are much faster now, and so you are able to do a lot of things within a short time. So the, the data volume is what is running faster. It is not the cost. The cost, we actually are bundling at a much cheaper cost today than you would normally have had in the past. Recently, the government actually placed or increased the talk tax from 6 to 9%. Are you going to shift those burden to your large customers you have or you are going to absorb this communication tax? Before this came up, we were not uh, in the known. We have been informed, it's been talked about. We are currently uh, reviewing it and we will tell our customers how it to be implemented. We would act in the best interest of our customers in everything. And so we would communicate to them how it to be implemented and they'll be duly educated so they can follow through on how the implementation will run. He also cautioned customers to be very vigilant not to fall prey to scammers who call them without official contacts from MTN as the company plays its part to enhance security features. We have enhanced the security on the platform and I'm sure you, you've heard in the news that we are also ISO certified, which means that our processes meet international standards. The customers also have to play their part to protect their wallets. You've talked about one, don't give out your PIN. And like I made 
the example. It's just like giving your, your key to someone. If you give your key to someone and he gets to your house, he can open your door. Some winners of the Momo promotion could not hide their joy. When the call came, I thought it was days for one night. But when I held the phone and then saw the number again, 0244 300,000, I realized this is the authorized MTN number. So I, I felt happy. I felt happy. I was excited. I was expecting. When, when, they, when they took the, point, the first point, that was last month, I was like, are these people why? So when later they continue adding the questions, oh, this is true. So I will then go and then continue using the mobile money more. Fred Duhu's report for Joy Business. Also, MTN giving some glimmer of hope uh, to consumers on a possible review of the communication task. And that's it in business. Back to Daniel. Thanks, Emmanuel. And up next is sports. Mm -hmm.